formation of male gametes pollen grains develop in anther anther consists of two lobes each lobe has two pollen chambers anther consists of spore forming tissue some of the cells in this tissue develop as pollen mother cells or microspore mother cells up to this stage cells are diploid that is 2n each pollen mother cell undergoes meiosis to give rise to four daughter cells which develop into pollen grains pollen grains are haploid that is n and are otherwise known as microspores or male gametes they contain only one set of chromosomes that is n the study of pollen grains is called palynology formation of a female gamete the ovule is situated inside the ovary ovule develops from cushion like part of the ovary called the placenta ovule is connected to the placenta by a stalk known as funicle the tissue enclosed inside the ovule is nucellus it is surrounded by two coverings or integuments the outer and the inner the two integuments leave a small pore known as micropyle basal part of ovule where the two integuments arise is known as chalaza from the cells of the nucellus one cell differentiates as megaspore mother cell which is diploid that is 2n the megaspore mother cell divides by meiosis to form four megaspores out of which only one develops as embryo sac this is haploid and is also called female gametophyte at the time of fertilization there will be a total of seven cells arranged in three groups in mature embryo sac there are one egg female gamete two synergids one central cell that is secondary nucleus and three antipodals while all the cells are in haploid condition that is n only the secondary nucleus is diploid that is 2n this is due to the fusion of a two nuclei to form a single secondary nucleus the synergids are also known as helper cells these cells direct the growth of pollen tube towards the egg they have a beak like structure and are situated near the micropyla end the three antipodals live only for a short duration they are situated near the chalazal end of the embryo sac fertilization pollen grains are carried by wind and insects and facilitate cross pollination in plants fertilization is the process of fusion of male and female gametes pollen grains received by the stigma germinate and give rise to pollen tubes only one pollen tube finally reaches the embryo sac this tube will have two male nuclei which migrate to the tip of the pollen tube at the time of fertilization usually the pollen tube enters the ovule through micropyle the tube discharges the two male gametes into its embryo sac one male nucleus approaches the egg and fuses with it to form a diploid 2n zygote this is first fertilization the other male nucleus reaches the secondary nucleus which is already in 2n condition and fuses with it to form endosperm nucleus which will be triploid that is 3n this is second fertilization in the embryo sac which is unique in flowering plants the endosperm may develop to form endospermic seeds example maize wheat rice castor etc or it may be digested and absorbed to form non endospermic seeds example bean pea bengal gram etc embryo the zygote formed from fusion of egg with the male gamete develops into embryo zygote nucleus divides several times and differentiates into a heart shaped structure and fits in the space within the ovule mature embryo consists of stem apex a growing point or plumule 
two cotyledons in dicots or seed leaves and a radical which gives rise to root system. In monocots, there is only a single cotyledon. Formation of fruit and seed. Fertilization leads to a number of changes in the floral parts. Ovary is converted into a fruit and the ovule into a seed. The two integuments of the ovule change into outer and inner seed cords. The style and the stigma of the pistil fall off. The calyx remains in some cases as a dry structure. The stamens and the corolla of a flower drop off. The seed hardens and dries. This enables to survive in adverse conditions. The ovary wall may harden and become a pod, example poppy, or it may become fleshy and succulent, example tomatoes, plums.